Hi everybody, welcome to another Vulkan tutorial. So recently I had a problem with my MacBook and somehow the hard drive became corrupted. Um, I tried everything I could, I brought it to the Apple Store, but as it turns out the hard drive had to be changed. So I lost my hard drive, I have a new one, but I have to reinstall everything including Vulkan. So this sucks for me, it's a huge waste of time, but it's good for you because you get to watch me go through the entire install process of uh, basically configuring a new machine for Vulkan JS development. So where do we even start? Um, well, let's check out the documentation, right? That's a good place. Now, the first line here is install the latest version of Node and NPM. We recommend the usage of NVM. So let's do this. And what's NVM? Well, NVM is Node version manager. Uh, it's very useful because usually if you install Node uh, the usual way, you just get a single version of Node and um, that's, that's all you get. So if you want to try out a d different version, if you want to update it, it's pretty uh, cumbersome. So let's see what it says. To install or update NVM, you can use the install script using curl. curl. So let's do that. Go to our terminal, paste that, and now we have this helpful pop-up. The git command requires the command line developer tools, so let's install them. Agree. So it's downloaded, let's agree again. Agree. <sighs> Lots of agreement going on. I didn't read any of that, so I hope I'm not agreeing to anything I might regret. So the software was installed. I'm not sure exactly what software, but it's done, so let's try uh, the curl command again. Okay. I got a bunch of things about Git, but overall, it says close and reopen your terminal to start using NVM or run the following to use it now. Well, let's try and then NVM command not found. So, um, okay, let's okay. As you can see, um, I'm not cheating, so I didn't prepare any of that. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So um, it seems we don't have a bash profile file, which we probably should. So um, let's do that. Okay. Cool, it works. So what I just did here is uh, create a bash profile file and uh, the NVM install script added uh, these lines to it, which enables the NVM command to work and then NVM to just do its thing, find uh, the, its own directory where it stores your node version and NPM packages and so on. Uh, that being said, bash profile is useful just for, you know, general command line stuff. So it's good that we have one. Okay, now NVM works. Uh, how do we install node? So nvm help version install that's what we want actually let's go back to here and um yeah nvm install node that should do it so it's installing node version 9 which is actually a pretty advanced version like um, yeah, 
it's the, the, the latest and greatest. Do we also have NPM? Yeah, we have NPM. So I think we have um, everything we need now. Let's go back to the Vulkan dock. We have Node and NPM. Next step is installing Meteor. So let's do that. So Meteor, um, I'm pretty sure, also installs its own version of Node. So strictly speaking, um, you know, installing our own Node is not required, I think, but um, we'll need it for other stuff anyway. Um, so it's good to have it. That being said, um, you know, Meteor also has its own version of MongoDB and other tools, so these these we won't need to install. Okay. Password. Sounds good. Let's let's see. Okay, seems to work. Now, um, what's next? Let's go back to the Vulkan docs. Okay, clone the Vulkan repo locally. Let's try to do that. So uh, this is the so this is the core Vulkan repo. I'll I'll show you a couple different ways to to do this. But first, let's clone the core. How do we clone something? We do git clone. It turns out we have git. I think it was installed as part of the Xcode developer tools. Um, yeah. You know what? I'm I'm gonna. Um, I'm not going to clone it here, actually. Sorry. Create a new dev folder and then clone it here. Kind of want to try and keep all my developer stuff in the same place. OK, let's go into that directory. Um, and then we can run, well, okay, first npm install, that's really important. Why is it important? Because this will install all the um, npm packages needed to run Vulkan. So Vulkan runs on top of Meteor, which has its own packages, and these packages will be installed when you just run the Meteor app. But Meteor itself uh, and Vulkan relies on node packages, so npm packages. And these guys, they won't be installed automatically, so we have to install them separately. Now, uh, we got a lot of errors. I don't know if these um, actually mean something or not. Let's ignore them for now. If it doesn't work, we can always run npm install again. And then uh, npm start. So it's downloading the latest version of the Meteor tools. So these are all the pack Meteor packages I was talking about. When you run Meteor for the first time, it's, it has to, to download all the missing packages. So you can see we're running, um, by calling uh, npm start, we're actually running this with the settings flag and uh, a settings.json file, which I'm pretty sure doesn't exist. So. Once uh, this is all done, downloading, it might throw an error, but that error is easy enough to fix. And to do that, we can do this. So we're gonna, oh, okay. Actually settings JSON uh, does exist. So it might be just created by this, the script. I don't remember. If it doesn't exist, if for whatever reason you're getting a, a problem with that, just copy this sample settings JSON file over. So basically rename this into settings.json and that should take care of it. But let's go back to our uh, Meteor install script. So it's downloading other Meteor packages, MongoDB, web app, standard minifier, JS. 
So Meteor is done launching and a couple things happened. Um, as you can see, it inserted dummy users and dummy movies into the database, just as a way of showing you, uh, you know, dummy data when you first open the app. And then now it's running on localhost 3000. So let's go check it out. So um, it kind of works. So we don't have any items here, which might mean that um, the dummy users and dummy movies weren't created. So let me let me try this again. Uh, we also have some warnings, you know. Um, with with Node and Meteor, things change pretty fast. So from time to time, you'll have like incompatibility warnings, or you know something is out of date, or something is deprecated. If it's a warning, if it's not an error, you can pretty much ignore it, and it will be fixed in a in an upcoming version of Vulkan. Okay, so this time the um, the seeding with dummy movies worked. So we have our sample Vulkan app and everything works. Perfect. Now, this time I cloned the core Vulkan repo, Vulkan.js slash Vulkan, um, but you might not want to do that. So one reason not to do that is that uh, if you clone the core, you get all of the Vulkan core code, uh, which is um, you know a lot of stuff, which you might not need right now. It's good to, to know where that it exists. If you need to understand how the internals of Vulkan work, if you need to, you know, submit a pull request, but it can be a bit be a bit overwhelming in the beginning. So another way to install Vulkan is to use the starter repository. Here. So let's see how that works. Same thing, I'm gonna clone it. So um I'm gonna go up one level, get clone in Vulcan dash starter this time. Okay. Um, and then, well, pretty much the same thing. Um, I don't know if I, there's actually a, yeah, there is a, the same start script. So it should work the same. Um, a difference though, is you can see here, it's saying downloading Okay, so a couple a couple things I'm noticing here. First, it's adding a lot of packages and it's actually uh, downloading them from the Meteor package server. So uh, what this means is that um, these Vulkan packages that previously were loaded right from your local machine because they were in the Git uh, repository, when it comes to the starter repo, you can see that the package, the meteor package directory is pretty empty. So all these packages have to be loaded from a server. And we do get the settings JSON file not found error. So let, let's fix this first. Okay. So what's the advantage? Well, basically uh, that you don't need to worry about um, all that extra code. Now, we're missing our npm packages because I didn't do npm install, of course. Okay, um, now another thing I noticed if uh, If we look at our versions file here, which uh, shows us all the all our Vulkan package, you can see some of them are at 1.8.0, which is the latest version, but some of them are still on 1.3.2 for some reason. 
uh, and that's going to cause problems, right? If, if some of our packages are not at the right version. So let's see how we can fix that. Okay, so I actually cheated a little, little bit. I interrupted the video to install Sublime Text, which I didn't have. Like I said, it was a fresh machine uh, because I think this is going to help us figure out this uh, version thing. So uh, I'm going to open the directory here. Um, You know what, I'm just gonna change it manually. I think that might be the easiest way actually. So where does it say 1.3.2 here? And um, let's see what happens. Uh, so it's saying 1.2.0, that's also kind of a, a mistake probably just outdated here. Again, hopefully by the time you watch this, uh, these little issues will all have been fixed. But you know, I'm showing you if you do run into uh, all these little problems, how you can take care of them. Okay, so we still get a couple warnings, but overall, I think it should work. So let's reload. Now, again, we don't have anything in our database uh, because just like the first time, um, the database didn't get seeded properly the first, first time we ran the app. So let's run it again. And by the way, I'm in the Vulkan starter uh, directory, which is a different media project with its, with its own different database, right? So I'm not in Vulkan anymore, which is why we have to do that uh, seeding step again. And it works. Okay, so there you go. Two ways of installing Vulkan. One where you get the full repo, including all the core code, and one where you only get examples that's uh, all ready to welcome your own custom code. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the Slack chat room if you have any questions.